This is what Jose Mourinho inherited two seasons ago. Think back two seasons, Sir Alex Ferguson's last game, Old Trafford, Manchester United are the champions, celebrations. And if you're saying at that point in time, Chelsea, over the next two seasons, are going to abide by FFP, which we question whether they would at the time, so they're not going to spend as much money as other people, and they're going to do what they're doing overall, Manchester United, Manchester United, you say that's one hell of a performance. You take a moment, this was the group of players, or the squad of players that he inherited. And you talk about overhauling a squad. Barr, gone. Torres, gone. Benayoun, Moses, Mata, Romeu, Lampard, Bertrand, Cole, Luiz, uh, Ferrara there, Marin. They've all either left the club or they've gone out on loads. There's been no help to them this season. Probably 13, 14 players there and the goalkeeper as well. 15 players. And we're looking at that thinking, Chelsea have got to overhaul a squad that's quite a few of those ageing players. They've got to abide by FFP and they've got to win the league within two seasons. You're going to have to do an awful lot of very good things. This is the net transfer spend in that time. Chelsea are fifth. Manchester United's net spend, so they've won the league two years ago, and you say Manchester United has net spend of 168 million, City 115 million, the two best teams in the country. Arsenal are going to be 103 million, who are only a couple of points behind Chelsea. And Liverpool are in front as well, but Chelsea are going to have a net spend of 54 million, and they're going to overhaul the squad and turn it into that, that squad there. You'd say that is one unbelievable performance. You look at that squad now and throwing it forward. He's reduced the age of it, he's won the league, he's won the Capital One Cup, it's a far stronger squad, and I think there is a major battle going to go on this summer. I think that Jose Mourinho's area of improvement, I think in here there's potential for improvement, whether that's Hazard coming inside and playing as number 10 and somebody going wide. I think that Matic needs another stronger partner in central midfield in the big, big matches in Europe, because I think Fabregas maybe isn't quite right to play in a two in those games. I think around John Terry is an area that needs looking at and right back. So uh, maybe, maybe those three positions. There's one player potentially being touted as coming available this summer, and that's Bale. And the talk is it's, he's going to go to Manchester United, Chelsea and Manchester City. One of those three, if he does become available. If Chelsea win that battle, and let's say they lose Oscar and Ramirez, or a player like that for 50, 60 million, they get him for a net cost of 25 million, I think the rest of the teams are in trouble for the next couple of years, I really do. And the big thing, the one last thing, he's, not, he's unloved Josie Mourinho, which I don't think will bother him, but this, this bit down in the corner. Apparently, Abramovich has been at the uh, under-21s game today. They've won four out of the last six youth cups. That is Jose Mourinho's big thing now. Longevity at a club and bring those young players through. He's got fantastic young players. He said in that interview I did earlier on the season that he would, be, he would be a failure if he didn't bring those young players through. If they get bail and start to bring through the best young talent in the country which they've got, the rest could be in a little bit of trouble for the next three or four years. They're going to have to act quickly on do, this. Do you think this might be different? Because the fact is Mourinho's never given a first Premier League start to a Chelsea youth team product. He has to. He has to. They're too good. You cannot win four youth cups in six years and not bring a player through. Roman Abramovich is going to have to give Jose Mourinho the confidence that it's not all about the immediate. He's going to have to say to him, I want to see in the Capital One Cup next season, in the lesser league games, two or three of those boys operating in my team, and I'll take the consequences of it. That's probably why Roman Abramovich is watching Youth Cup Finals, under-21's game today away at Fulham. He's looking at it thinking, FFP is there, we've got to abide by it, we've got to trade well, we've got to get these kids through, and that is Jose Mourinho's task, I think, moving forward, to stay at a club long enough and bring those players through.